Happy Halloween! <laughs> Welcome back to the Nail Nails channel. My name is Julia and today I'm going to be showing you how I did a nice spooky scream movie themed nail set. So make sure you stay tuned if you want to see how it turns out. So guys, I've prepped her nails already. We've gone for something a bit different. We're doing stiletto today. So they're very um, sharp. So let me not annoy Sky before she stabs me with these. But to start off with, I'm going to start off with her middle finger because I'm going to be using black acrylic, but I'm going to lay it with a bit of clear just so that when she takes them off, they're not staining her nail or anything. So I'm just going to do a nice thin layer just as like a, I don't know, protective layer, I guess. So I'm just going to put a bit the cuticle area and just bring it down gonna leave that a bit to dry and I'm just gonna go in with the mega white acrylic and for the rest of her nails I'm gonna do them full white so I'm just gonna do that on all of the rest of them Now I'm going to use pure black acrylic on her middle finger just to create a black block nail. Now I'm just going to clap, clap, <laughs> now I'm going to cap the black acrylic with some clear acrylic. How come? Because black acrylic isn't very strong by itself, so just to, you know, add that bit of, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure everyone will know what I mean by that. I get that. Oh, oh I spilled it. Next one. Okay. Why is he saying my own name? Now that's our acrylic all laid. Now that they're all dry, I'm just gonna go in with a 180 grit file and I'm just gonna reshape them before I file with our e 
drill the drill yeah You're nice and sharp so this guy can use these as a weapon. Joking, she's not going to do that. Before anyone gets any ideas. I wonder if anyone's like, wow, well, he's Sky. <laughs> Sky is the mystery girl in front of my face that 99.9% .9 of you will not know. Maybe one day. If you want to see me and Sky in a video, let us know. Wow, with them bad boys. <laughs> Was that just attempted assault there? Yeah. Wow, now we have these claws. I'm gonna go in with the e-file with a fine grit sanding band on a medium speed as always to smooth them out and make them all nice and even. Now I'm going to use a ceramic cuticle bit and we're just going to go around all of her cuticles, make sure the acrylic is nice and sealed in so that there's no lifting in the next couple of weeks. Dusting that off. Now I'm going to use a white buffing block to just smooth out her nails ready for our nail art. Now I'm just going in with some gel residue remover and a lint-free wipe and I'm just going to go over all of her nails to clean off all this dust. So I've already put the colours that I'm going to use out on my little resin tray. So the colours I've decided to use for today's look, I'm using burlesque as I've been corrected, uh, which is this one that I'm going to be using for the dark red parts. I'm also using another part from the Jelly range and I'm going to be using the shade Wild Strawberry which is a see-through red. That and of course Serious Black as always. And I'm also for this grey I'm using Nirvana. And I'm going to be using a bit of Snow White as well. So I'm going to start with the pinky and for the pinky we're going to transform it into a knife as suggested. So I'm just going to do a line up to maybe about here so this can be the blade of the knife there you go straight line across oh, I can open it and then just using a bottle I'm just going to fill the rest of that one in Just gonna flash kill this quickly. So guys, last minute change. I've decided we're gonna foil the knife. Let's make it really mirrored. So I'm gonna put some foil glue over where we've just put the gray. Like so. And we're just going to pop that into the lamp. So I've cut myself a little bit of the silver foil and I'm just going to pop that on top of where we've just placed the foil glue. Right on top 
and I'm just going to use a silicone tool just to push that down to make sure it's covering the whole area. Can I smell? So it hasn't transferred all the way this time. I'm very got very bad luck with um, foil glue, but we're gonna cover it with an outline and with blood anyway. So not to worry, won't even be able to tell. Now I'm just taking a thin liner brush and I'm going to outline the blade. And I'm also going to make a little handle for the We're just gonna flash cure this now. Now I'm gonna use some of the jelly polish that I've picked out and I'm just gonna put some randomly on the knife and kind of drag it down to make it look like there's blood pouring down the knife. Wow, that's so cool. I'm also going to add little white dots on the handle just for, you know, a little bit of detail for where the handle is. And I'm just going to flash cure this. So now we're going to do the main character, which is the screen mask. So I'm just going to, again, go in with Snow White and a thin liner brush, and I'm just going to outline my shape. And I'm just going to fill this in. Now we're just gonna put this into the lamp. Now just going in again with my dotting tool, I'm gonna use the black gel and I'm gonna create the face of the screen mask. So I'm just gonna start off with the eyes. I'm pretty sure that's all it is. There's a nose and a mouth. Oh, is there? Yeah, you don't even know. Anytime anyone talks about Scream, I just think of Scary Movie when they go, what's up? It's so hard to distinguish the two of them, isn't it? <laughs> Have you watched that, Julia? Yeah. When the person's out of the kitchen sink and the arm gets stuck. Is that? It's one of them. One of them has the one where someone's hand gets stuck in the little, like, you know how Americans have that. Or is it in a blender? One of them. I know I'm not going crazy, so. Now we're just gonna put this into flash cure as well. Just gonna add some gray lines around the mask. Okay. 
So now for the most exciting part, I'm gonna be using my fingers to make fingerprints on the nails that are left. So I'm gonna be dipping into the red. <laughs> Let me wipe my finger actually, make sure there's no dust on there. She's got my DNA on herself now. <laughs> there we go, just gonna dip into the red. Obviously it's a bit, you know, so I'm just gonna tap it on the tissue so we just have a light layer. And I'm gonna just make random fingerprint spots. Wow. Do the same thing again. And maybe one more at the bottom. There we go. Gonna do the same on the other three. And on the thumb. Okay, we're just gonna flash cure this as well. Now I'm gonna go in with the jelly red that I have put on my little tray. And um, we're just gonna make some random blood drips on the nails. Put this anywhere you like. It's gonna have to be neat, it's meant to be blood. I'm gonna go around the cuticle with this one. Just gonna put this in a lamp to cure. Now that those have been in the lamp, I'm gonna actually use a mixture of top coats. So for the screen mask, I'm gonna use matte top coat. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put some of that on there. And for the rest, I'm going to be using a glossy top coat. Now that that's out, we're going to be using the Tropical Punch Cuticle Oil just to moisturise her cuticles. I'm going to put that all over her fingers. And rubbing that in. And this is the final look. So guys, that was the final look. I really hope you enjoyed. And if you are celebrating Halloween, I hope you have a great time. Enjoy a trick or treat and get all them sweets. Um, but please make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share this video and leave any recommendations down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Teamwork. Oh. I'm so dead.
Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> 